direct photography, Alec Watson, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use AI in the develop module to get enhanced background separation. <laughs> wow, that sounds exciting. <laughs> what we're gonna do, we're gonna tell a better story. Narrative. So I've gone to unsplash.com and found some images where I thought, you know what? We could tell this story better. So that's what I'm gonna take you through. I'm gonna take this image of this bird here. Now I I've talked about this in a previous episode about how uh, simply cropping and rotating can make an image stronger. Now this person used a, a pretty decent zoom lens and they've got background separation. A, a lot of times in, in storytelling of our images, we want to separate our subject from our background. One of the ways we can do that is a shallow depth of field with a zoom lens, which this person has done here. Now, I, I'm not going to critique their photo, but if it, I'm just going to say how I would do it. If I were approaching this image, I would do a couple of things different, as, as, certainly in post, which I imagine this has had some post work done to it. When I look at the histogram at the top right, uh, the histogram's full range, so there's no issues there. I would, I would say overall, for, for my tastes, it's, it's a little dense, meaning it's a little dark. I'd like to just bring out some fill light. Okay, the, the, that tree just felt a little dense. But uh, again, for me, what, one of the problems is that our, our subject, the bird, it's cool that it's such similar colors to the tree around it, but if the image is about the bird, then you know, am I am I really seeing it? So I would I would change a couple of things. One of them is I've, I've spoken about this before. I don't like things that cut our image in half. And this branch that this little bird is sitting on is cutting the image in half. One of the ways that I would approach that, oops, not in repair, I would go into geometry and I'd probably just rotate this image in some direction. You can you can choose which way you want to rotate it. Uh, I would probably go this way. And simply rotating this image now makes the image a little more dynamic. The bird does not look like, like it's falling over. Um, may, maybe the tree does, but it, it certainly could be, you know, a section of the tree that's going off on an angle. And, and you, you know, you get to do this in post to your, um, to your discretion. But I often like things that run through images and head towards a corner. And this allows our viewer's eye to move through the photo. Moving the viewer's eye through the photo is really important. Now I would take this and I would change the crop. I'd, I'd move the bird to a third. There we go. That feels like now uh, I've got a little more dynamic image. This is definitely about a bird. We, we've put the bird in a lower third, which allows them. This is the, the leading room. The headroom, I, I like to put this into images where an animal or a person, something with eyes is looking to see where they're going to go. It would fly into this direction. Now I wanna look at separation of this. So to do that, we're gonna look at masking, specifically AI masking. Well, let's have a look at if the AI is gonna grab our subject. Boom, yes, absolutely grabbed our subject. Thank you, AI. Thank you for making that easy. In our controls here, We've got feathering, that's to do with our nib width here. So you can see that if I were to brush something, so like I could take this section of stick away. So I would right click on our branch and just take some of that away so we're, we're more accurate on our bird. So that's just a quick adjustment. And what we're gonna, we're not changing that much. So this isn't that important. It's just showing you how to do it. I'd be a little concerned about how sharp this edge is on our bird, so I'm going to just feather our mask ever so slightly. And I, you probably can't see that if you're watching this on YouTube. I've just, uh, I've made it softer by six, whatever that means. I mean, maybe that means six pixels. I'm not sure, probably doesn't, because I don't think there's that much resolution. Shifting decides whether the mask gets smaller. Oops or larger, and, it, and it, honestly, it was, it was about right. I, I had no problem with where it was. There we go, that, there's our mask. So from here, now I can adjust our bird separately. So I'm gonna give our bird a little more exposure and a bunch more vibrance to get our little subject to really pop. And of course, probably more contrast. And interestingly, 
what I never noticed before is that there was blue on our bird and that popped in uh, as we added vibrance. Otherwise, I don't think that was even there. Looking around our image again, uh, anytime I'm about to finish off an image, I will look around all the corners. I, I don't love this. Uh, I don't love things that make a triangle that points outside our image. I'd, I'd probably leave that, but I can say I definitely don't like this. This is a small area in the top right, and it also creates a triangle that points out of our image and m makes no sense in context of the image. I mean, like we know that that is a branch, but is it adding to our story? I would say absolutely not, not adding to our story. And we can have a look at that one, see if I can solve for that one. Well, let's just go ahead and do that. I would say that that is pretty solid. Let's, let's go back and see how that looks. There, that's a whole lot cleaner. I'm gonna say yes, and in this instance, I can click Manage and just click Save. I'm gonna click Save a Copy because I want absolutely two different versions of this. When we're in the develop mode, it's non-destructive, so if I just click Save, it's going to make the changes in real time. Because anytime I'm doing interesting crops, and things, I, I like to be able to compare. So we're, I'm just gonna call this version two. And this way, I, when I go back to manage mode, I'm gonna have two versions of this. I'm gonna not save the changes to that one. And where's our bird? We have two copies. Oh, so it looks so different, I don't even recognize it. There we go. We're, here, let's take these two and add them to our trusty image basket and do a comparison of the before and after. There we go. Using AI to separate our, our bird out of the background, like we, like we said, when, we first, when I first looked at this image, it was shot with a decent lens. I didn't like the way the, I was calling it a stick. <laughs> when it's dead, it's a stick. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't look that healthy. It, it's definitely breaking our image in half, and I like this more dynamic. The image is about a bird. There's nothing in this image unless you want a bunch of negative space. And as I've said before, I, I generally, unless there's some reason for a story about symmetry, I don't like things in the center. I like your eye to move around. And one of the ways to get your viewer's eye to really move around is to put something in a third. I use the third that leaves uh, leading space for where an animal or person or something with eyes is going to look. You can totally break that rule. It's not a rule, it's just a guideline. It just tells the story in a different way. When I do it this way, it looks like the bird can fly off in this direction. And the other thing that I do notice, remember I brought up the, the background, even though we could have left the tree a little more dense, but there's something now I like about, and we'll call it, I, I say bokeh. There's something now that's a little more pleasing about this in the background, now that it's got more colors over the density. And so not that I am critiquing this person's image, but if it's about uh, the bird sitting in a tree, uh, for me, that's a way stronger image. I hope you got something out of this. In the next one, we're gonna jump into the edit suite and talk about separation where we can start using layers and blur modes to, to separate things. The whole goal is to raise the level of your photography in post. And ACDC is my tool to do that. Have a fantastic day. Get out there, take some photos and make the world a better and more beautiful place. Yeah.